hey guys, it's Kami and let's walk through the latest update. Yet another screenshot event, this time even more categories. Not only I am tired of repeating this over and over again, even GMs could not handle it. So as you can see, some categories are still in question. The rules are probably the same, they weren't posted yet, just like those categories. From what it seems, submissions to all categories will run till 1st of March. If you're interested, just check out the link in the description below this video, like in a few days or so. Dark Knight title event that will run till the end of this week. You can suggest some titles suitable for Dark Knight. After accumulation of those titles, starting from 15th of February till 1st of March, everyone will be able to vote for suggested titles. And the top one from those will be implemented in the game. If you want to suggest some title, check out the link in the description below this video. You should be logged in in order to suggest. In the first one select one of your characters. In second one select your character class. I have no idea why do you need to enter that, maybe they want to prioritize Dark Knight or something like that. And the last third one is finally your creativity box. Suggest whatever you want. By the way, I think it's pretty obvious that trolling games is not the best idea, so don't go over the top with your creativity. And finally Valentine event that will run for 2 weeks. During the event period you can create Cacao Choco, with which you will be able to vote in main cities for the NPCs that you like. Here are the steps which you need to do in order to obtain this Choco. Buy Cacao Seed and Event Fence from Mileage Shop. Place the fence, place the seed on it. Wait till the tree will grow up and then harvest it. Grind the obtained cacao into cacao powder. Then use simple cooking to combine one cacao powder with one sugar and two cooking water. After the maintenance on 16th of February, NPC's votes will be published on Black Desert website. Final ranking will be published after the event end on 23rd of February. So it kind of splits this event on two weeks. If you will give at least one choco to any NPC, you will be able to obtain those pricey elixirs in the first table. Three of each. Then on the next week the very same thing. So in total you can get up to six of each. You are not limited to one choco per week, you just won't get more elixirs on the same week. So there is no downside to it, as on contrary, you raise your chance to win second reward which consists of two rewards. The first one's 30 days premium package, which will be given to 10 random players with vote in top NPC, 5 with second one, 3 with third one, and 1 for someone who liked NPC that got the least amount of choco. The second part is Black Desert Calendar, which will be distributed in the same manner, but there are a whole lot more of those. In order to be eligible for Calendar, you also need to say yes on the web page, which will be linked in the description below this video. If you are outside of Japan, select the second option, which says no. Of course, unless you have some friend or other shipping address in Japan. Also note that you need to be logged in in order to select any of those options. And finally you can purchase those head accessories for mileage points. Which is somewhat unrelated to the other parts of the sea event, but is the part of the sea event.
Now let's check a couple of changes. You can create Dark Knight character prior to its release on the next week. Increase the maximum limit of character slots to 13. Currently you can buy one slot for one mileage point, don't miss it. Finally added FPDVP potions which are in the client for like 2 months or so. Changes to a couple of exchangeable items that drop from mobs. Reduce the weight of various trading items that can be dropped from mobs by 50%. Fixed Bastier Dagger for Wizard and Witch. Fixed issue with underwater golden treasure chest. Fixed issue with Hulk not receiving damage from hunting gun. Increased drop rate of armor black stones in various noobs areas. Added blue grade equip for wild elephant. Expansion and few fixes to various houses. Corrected level 34 gathering quest. Fixed issue with pallets of Merv not displaying on horse in carriage. Fixed clothing for one Kalfion NPC. And few other minor bug fixes. Cash shop items. And that's finally it for this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.